Are you ready for a barbecue recipe that's simple, delicious, and will keep everyone in your house fed for days? Who doesn't love pulled pork smothered in your favorite barbecue sauce? This recipe is great for sandwiches, tacos, nachos, burritos, or even right by itself. So crack open a beer and let's get started. Let's learn how to make barbecue pulled pork in the crock pot. Hey friends, Vince here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious pulled pork. You can do pulled pork a lot of ways. You can cook it in the oven, you can cook it on the smoker, but today everyone's got a crock pot so I'm going to show you how to do it in the slow cooker crock pot. Leave it in there for eight, nine hours and you got the most delicious meal you ever had. Friends, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make new videos every week. I really appreciate your support. So this big old pork shoulder, it weighs about 10 pounds. You're thinking, Vince, what are you gonna do with all that meat? Well, luckily this actually is gonna reduce in about 50, 40% or so when we're cooking it down. And it's also got a lot of fat, as you can see. So when it's all said and done, that 10 pounds right here is really gonna be anywhere from like three and a half to five pounds of meat. So what I love about this dish is it only takes a few minutes to prep you go about your business for the day, you come back, your whole house smells delicious, and everyone gets to eat. Let's start off by making a delicious spice rub. As always, I have a list of all the ingredients directly below for you. We're gonna start off with some salt and some chili powder. We're also gonna need some onion powder and some paprika for color. If you're having a hard time counting my shakes, don't worry, the measurements are down below in the description. Of course, we're gonna need some fresh black pepper. And after that, I like to hit it with a little bit of cumin and a tiny bit of red pepper, just a pinch. You're also gonna need plenty of garlic powder and just a bit of dried parsley. This might seem like a lot of ingredients, but I promise it's gonna come together in just a couple of minutes at most. Honestly, you can whip this up in under a minute if you really try. Finally, we're gonna to top our rub with four spoonfuls of brown sugar. That might seem like a lot of sugar, but remember, it's 10 pounds of meat. Then mix that spice rub all together until it's nice and evenly distributed. All right, so a lot of people like to trim a lot of the fat off. I find that the fat and the bone is where a lot of the flavor comes from. So we're gonna leave this fat, but we are gonna score it. Now, if you want, feel free to remove this layer of fat completely. But what I like to do is cut through the fat so just a bit of the spices can penetrate through just a little bit deeper. Dealer's choice. Now take that seasoning mix and rub that pork butt liberally. You want to get every nook and cranny. Every bit of meat and every bit of fat all around the outside should be completely coated. I recommend using the entirety of the blend we just mixed together. You can't go wrong here. And what we're left with is a beautifully seasoned piece of meat. Now you can do this step ahead of time if you want to prep ahead for your big game day. Or if you're low on time, you can season it right before as well. Your pulled pork is going to have all day to marry with your seasoning blend. For this video, I let my pork butt hang out with all the spices for about an hour before I started cooking. And just look at that. All right, y'all. As you can see, now we got a delicious pork shoulder that's beautifully seasoned. Next, we're gonna grab our crock pot and we're gonna make a delicious base for this pork shoulder to cook in. Let's get after it. Start off by pouring in a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm also coming in with a full pint of Yingling lager. You can also use something like Coca-Cola if you don't like the taste of beer, but I would question it. You could also substitute Yingling for another beer here. You know, maybe an IPA or something else you love to drink. Next, I'm coming in with six cloves of garlic. You're gonna place your pork butt carefully in your crock pot. If you kept that fat cap on, you're gonna wanna place that side up. So as you can see, we got a decent amount of liquid here, but we're not filling it all the way up. We wanna make sure that we have some room so when that pork fat renders down, that there's room for it. There's gonna be a lot of juice that comes off this pork shoulder. So we don't want our crock pot to overflow. All right, now the only thing left is to cover this bad boy, cook it on low for a good eight, nine hours. So we're gonna come back and then it's time to shred. All right, so Vince, how do we know when our pulled pork's ready to be shredded? 
We want to make sure that it's somewhere sitting between 200 to 205 degrees. Make sure to poke it right in the middle with your meat thermometer and try it in a couple different places. It might be completely done in one spot, especially if it's a big piece of meat and then not down in another. So give it a few different pokes, test it out. Once again, we're looking for 200 to 205 and then we want to make sure to give it plenty of time to rest. At a bare minimum, let your pulled pork rest for 20 minutes. But if you have the time, I definitely recommend pushing that towards an hour, hour plus. All right, y'all, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's take this pork butt out of our crock pot, see what she's looking like. All right, guys, it's time. Let's do it. I can't even imagine anything that smells better. I mean, this is the beer and the chili and the pork, the garlic. Oh, man, it's great. that. The money. Ooh, it's falling apart. That's exactly what we want though. All right, we've given our pork shoulder plenty of time to rest. I'm going to show you exactly the easiest way to make sure that it's done. Okay guys, so you see this bone right here? You know, this is how you know if your pork shoulder is done. You see how easy that came off? It just ripped right off. That's what we want. All right, so you see, we're just gonna shred up this meat. Now you're gonna grab two forks and shred your meat to your preferred consistency. If you let your pork rest a long time and don't mind getting messy, you can come in right with your hands. Whatever batch is ready to serve, we're gonna grab and place on a sheet tray. Then, we're gonna re-add two to three ladlefuls of that delicious juice from the crock pot. We're gonna grab our favorite barbecue sauce and slather it on up. Then we're gonna mix everything together. We're gonna to warm this back up to serve low and slow at 225 degrees in the oven. That's gonna make sure that we don't dry out our pulled pork, but everyone's eating some hot, delicious barbecue. This recipe is great because it's so simple, near impossible to mess up, and all you have to do is put it on a roll, maybe add a little coleslaw, and you make everyone happy. Pulled pork is perfect game day food. It's a game changer for your house party. And did I mention that whole pork shoulder only cost $25? So don't forget to pour yourself a beer and celebrate. Let's give this pulled pork a taste. All right, there's nothing left to do, but try this delicious pulled pork. So I'm just gonna get after it. Don't mind me. Mm. I've been waiting for this all day, baby. Mm. It's tender, it's delicious. It's juicy. Oh. I gotta say, I always love pulled pork on a potato roll. Cheers, guys. Mm. Thanks for watching. I hope to earn your subscription. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found value from it.